So hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek here, and today I've got some errors for you, some types, some varieties, some VAMs, uh, you name it. But before we get started, I want to show you something that uh, is, I think, super cool uh, in the error world that is in a foreign variety, these Mexican errors with the double die. How's that for a double die, huh? With the 2010. And what's cool is here, so you've got this one here with Jose Maria Pino Suarez on it, and that's a $5 coin from 2010. Now here we go with same thing, 2010 error, but with uh, Soldadera on it, and totally different center core piece, but the outer piece has uh, has the doubling on it. So I thought these were super cool. Kind of a little bonus item to throw in uh, to show to you today. Uh, I'm going to move on to one of my all-time favorite errors. I used to have a uh, have a NGC double holder that had two of these in it. And so uh, this is something that happens a lot more with nickels than anything else. It's called a split planchet. The planchet is literally split all the way through and you see how far set back that nickel is in there because that's like half a coin. And so I used to have one that was uh, NGC double holder and then it had both halves on it, uh, which was, was really cool. So split after strike. So if you look on eBay, actually a lot of these are not that expensive, which blows my mind for an error that's I think super cool. You'll see stuff selling for 20, 30, 40 bucks on a lot of stuff like this. Probably not certified. I'm guessing that this one would be quite a bit more just because it is certified and that's something that uh, you don't see quite as frequently. Uh, next up, let's grab one more error before we get into VAMs, something that uh, I really always like are strike throughs. And so I want to take a look at this so that, you know, sometimes it's hard to tell on a coin what is a strike through, what's damage, and what's an error. And so I always like to show these to you guys because I have a hard time sometimes describing what a strike through looks like, but you know I'm I'm used to seeing them, so I know what they look like. But it's sometimes it's just hard to tell you how to think of it, right? So you see how on the stars you still have a lot of a lot of the design is left. So basically, like a piece of metal was struck through and then peeled back or peeled off. Uh, that that's what that is. And so you know, whereas a scratch would leave kind of a bright mark or. Um, Oftentimes where you have a strike through it, the metal looks different. Like it has a different flow to it. It has a different color to it. And that's kind of the, one of the uh, things to look for when you're looking at strike throughs. Right, this one's really, really pretty cool. Uh, a nice Unk coin on a 97S, which is a little bit better date. You know, this is probably of several hundred dollars on that guy. I don't have an exact price on it, but I'll, we'll figure it out. They, they may be available for sale by the time you watch this video, they may not. I got a couple dollars to show you, but before we get to those dollars, <laughs> if you wanna see a series that has a lot of problems with their dies, the Shield Nickel series has a ton of them. Now this one is a, a VAM known as the Bleeder. And basically, see all those lines that follow the shield lines that the way I'm holding it they'd be horizontal and it on in this imagery right now it almost looks like uh, scratches but they're not they're not scratches on there but that is actually those lines that come up and through this uh, this type they call the bleeder so but you'll see all kinds of different varieties and errors on these shield nickels uh, it just seems like there's a never-ending amount of different types of uh, errors on that. And so this one, I'm not sure the value on this one in Mint State. Also, hundreds of dollars on that guy, I'm certain. Uh, some of these VAMs, they've got listed in the gray sheet. And so you can kind of get a feel. So like this 1888O is a uh, double die arrows reverse VAM 9. And so this they list in the gray sheet, you know, it's a hundred dollar plus type coin, maybe a one and a quarter. And the arrows are where the doubling is. And so uh, I'm going to see how many things I can say grammatically incorrectly to get all the English teachers mad at me. Ending sentences with is, at, are, I don't know. And it's going to be hard to get 
the lines on here, you want to look uh, to the south of those arrows, and it's really hard to see on here. I can get it just at that angle. I see it, but that's because I know what I'm looking at. You can kind of see if I'm if you draw your eye to the center arrow to the arrows right below the branch, you'll see a pretty clear line right there. That that's a clear line. You can see it. Uh, it's on these pieces as well at the arrow tips, but it's harder to get. I'm having a hard time getting the lighting to match up with my angle and my my camera on that one. But, uh, you know, VAMs are fun. A lot of guys collect VAMs. I've never been a big VAM collector, partially because you have coins that are sometimes kind of hard to see. But half the fun of it, though, is for those of you who can get out there and uh, cherry pick stuff, right? Because I know I, as a dealer, don't look for most VAMs unless it's really a common type that I like to look for. Uh, so like this double wing VAM24 uh, it is actually not in my little mini VAM book that I have, my old school VAM book. Um, it says double wing, and speaking of the other reason I'm not a big VAM collector is because I don't like anything where you really have to look too closely to find it. Uh, my belief on this coin, because they say it's the double wing, and you got to find like a line where there's doubling. And, you know, if you look at this, when I looked at this without trying to film it, I had a hard time finding anything. And then finally I found... I think it was like the, which which feather was it? It was only like one feather on this right side that I saw a really clear doubling on. And I, I'm not surprised I'm not able to film it because I had a hard time seeing it with my 10 power loop. So basically it was all the bottom feathers here. There was some doubling right where the feather meets the field. Let me see if I just need to change angles to get the lighting right here. Let's see, because it's in the shadow at that angle. So let me try this angle here. So hard to see. This is with a 20 power and you can't really see it. So this one, like I said, hard to tell on a coin like that exactly what it is, what it is, what it be. But the good news is they, they mentioned it on the holder. But once again, I prefer the VAMs where I can really see it. Like I really like a coin like that where I can be told what to look for and find it. The same with this. This is one of my, my favorites. Um, this one they call the extra hair variety on it's a VAM 1B on a 1923 piece dollar. I think this is the type of thing you can cherry pick pretty good because I think most guys don't even look for VAMs on peace dollars. And it's this die crack, boom, that pops up right there in the middle uh, you know, of the coin basically on the center back. And you've got, it really kind of flows from uh, this bottom piece of hair and it furls upward. And so it looks like extra hair. You know, at this angle, it's just like, oh, there's, there's an extra line of hair in there. So kind of cool because it looks like a part of the design from a distance, right? And yet it's just a die crack. So uh, overall, this this actually, it looks like this may be really expensive. When I looked and did some auction results, it looked like this was a $400 or $300 coin in MS64. So intriguing, intriguing, intriguing because uh, I think you could find these coins if you just went through dealer stock because most guys aren't looking for VAMs on peace dollars. And you can also see it with the naked eye as long as you know where to look. So I think that's really cool. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I've been the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.